right the important thing is you know what in hinduism there are 16 sanskaras sanskara is you know sanskara i will understand you will understand shortly there are 16 sanskaras that is the best time to perform a remedy 80% all of the sanskara you have already missed by now there is only one sanskara left that you are not supposed to do and it only middle sanskaras you can do right but the important thing is doing the sanskar in a proper muhurta is something that you know if you do it well you will not have to do remedies later in life the 16 sanskaras are the first is garbhadan that is done at the time of conception as soon as the lady conceives the child one worships brahma now this worship to brahma is done by a priest there is a particular method to that but my recommendation will be to take the lady in pushkar pushkar is the place where brahma is still worshiped so taking the lady to pushkar as soon as she conceives the child and is in a position to travel that that will happen in earlier 2 3 weeks only after that it will not be that is able to do that needs to be done first after that the second sanskar is punsavan that is a fertilization ritual at the third month of pregnancy once again it is again dedicated to brahma brahma is worshiped priest is going to do this you are not going to do this so don't worry the only control that you have to correct the right time when this procedure is to be done and 80% of the time the pandits who do this are very negligent or you say ill informed about the muhurtas so it is better that you as an astrologer intervene to give them a good muhurta and then whatever they do in worship is their cup of tea another thing is simantonen which is done in the penultimate month of pregnancy for the safe delivery of the child the worship is done to dhata the sun god and you if you are a father or mother of the child what you should necessarily do on this particular day when this ritual is being done after the ritual just after the ritual to maximum 12 hours after the ritual you should donate precious things to the brahmin you can donate a jewelry you can donate a cup filled with clarified butter or anything which is precious foods grains precious donation is another thing that is into your control that makes us sure that even if the pandit have not done his work properly at least you get the result and donate it in the name of dhata or in the name of that particular god whichever is being worshiped in that procedure after that there is jat karma that is birth ceremony here the shiva is worshiped that is there you may have missed it your jat karma your birth ceremony now you cannot celebrate however whenever your birthday comes worshiping shiva on that particular day people take tithi birthday by the way but you can take your normal english birthday as well that does not matter or you can take that particular day when the tajik is happening that generally happens on the same birthday the same english calendar day on that particular day you should worship shiva that's the basic point done through rudra abhishekam so every year make it a habit that on your on your birthday you will do rudra abhishekam that will keep you worry free disease free throughout the year will give you auspicious and good results rudra abhishekam only men can do women cannot do so women on that particular matter can keep a fast on their birthday in the name of shiva and eating nothing for the whole day and if you are having blood related issues then only milk products and fruits and by evening worshiping of shiva in the idol form i think we have talked about the images of shiva right earlier worshiping shiva in the idol form with the help of stotras not mantras of course not with the help of stotra shiva tandav etc any anyone worshiping shiva with stotra should shop char pujan and i i told you to have some information on should shop char pujan the 16 things are given a pandit will easily do it for you should shop char pujan of shiva for women in the evening time night time shiva is best worshiped in night also in the night time rudra abhishekam for male is necessary this is the only singular remedy i will tell you to do every year to keep your year tension free do one remedy on your birthday and for rest of the year remain tension free other than this there is namakaran that is done 11 days after birth this is about choosing the name and this is one of the best remedy a good kept name 
gives you success in life a badly kept name is the biggest detriment to yourself there is a particular course of shubhanam on this that is available i think many of you already have that course so that's all fine and in this course also if you remember in the starting i have given you a table which word is ruled by which planet using that particular table first of all you find which planet is good for you and then according to the table you are supposed to choose the appropriate name for yourself for an example if you remember there is this particular table that i have given so you take one particular horoscope any horoscope for that matter let's take an example in this chart this person is named shubham somehow shubham is shubham comes from the letter sh that if you see in the table it falls under the rulership of moon essentially goes in the rashi cancer moon rules only one rashi that is cancer how is this name for this native for that you check his horoscope you will find that cancer is the fourth house it indicates a lot of relationships activation of seventh house is not much good because because it is marak also the seventh house for that matter is also influenced by jupiter but somehow jupiter being the third lord and the 12th lord not much appreciated at all moon the lord of the name sh the lord of the word sh goes into the 10th house in 10th house every planet is very good seventh lord in the 10th house once again indicates multiple relationships somehow it indicates success it indicates success i think we discussed this horoscope in the previous class as well this person have got quite good success right now he is struggling but this is just a temporary phase of life and this is all the result of a good kept name right in other cases where the people are suffering in life generally the names are bad is what you will find for this for an example this person is named rajan that comes from the word ra and if you see ra also falls in the category of moon in the sign cancer but for this aquarius ascendant cancer is the 6th house and this 6th lord that is moon goes to the 5th house in conjunction with moon and this sign cancer is not in a good shape being aspected by jupiter and mars both of whom are not very good for aquarius ascendant and by saturn saturn is okay but jupiter mars is not okay all and all if you analyze this horoscope very deeply you will find that moon is not very conducive leave the cancer moon is not very conducive hence this person having his name from the letter r r the name rajan does not seem to be very suitable though it is not completely bad as well because moon in the 5th house is good but 6th lord in the 5th house is not good it gives him a lot of struggle the first thing that we should recommend is the changing of name because namakaran is one of the sanskar ceremonial rite that needs to be done in hinduism one of the 16 sanskaras this is where the major flaw happens once these 16 sanskaras the 16 net pre net the 16 ceremonies are done right 80% of the time you will not need remedies in life but if these things are not done right specifically the one that i have highlighted in bold then unnecessarily troubles will keep crept into your life even those things which happen very smoothly for other people will not happen smoothly for you so to ensure that things happen smoothly you have to make sure that these things are done right name you can change at any given point of time that's not an issue there is also something known as satpad chakra i don't know if i have talked about it or not but satpad chakra is also once again very essential for keeping the name this is generally what we will follow so what you do is you go to my website you go to blog when you go to the blog you will find an article rahu and ketu transit 2022 in this article you will find a table which maps a particular letter to a nakshatra and a particular letter to a rashi you have to make sure that this table we should be given more preference than what i what is given in the pdf what is given in the pdf is for planets what is given here is for the rashi 
So there is a clear distinction, by the way. So the letter sh is rather ruled by the letter r for this person, for this example that we are taking. The letter r is particularly ruled by moon, which goes with Ketu, sixth lord in the fifth house, not very good. And if you see the table, the word r, r, comes into Libra. Though this is the ninth house for an Aquarius ascendant, but you see Mandi is situated here. And Libra is not getting any major influence as such. Rashi is getting no major influence, no aspect of an exalted planet, no placement of an exalted Swarashi, Multrikun or Gautam planet. It's just a normal Rashi. Keeping name into a normal Rashi makes sure that this person also lives a normal mediocre life. Rather, it should be changed. For this person who is named Shubham, the word Sha is ruled by moon that in the 10th house is very good, gives him quite some success. And the as per this table, which is the Rashi table, the word Sha comes into the Rashi Aquarius. And Aquarius, as you see, is the second house with Saturn in the second house, planet in own Rashi, rather planet in Mula Trikona, because it is 11 degree Saturn, gives quite some success in life. And also because it is the second house with second Lord in the second house, we can be very sure that this person is going to be very rich in life. Currently, he is facing some problems, but that is temporary. So using these two particular principles, you are going to decide the good name for the person. And once the good name is chosen, it solves 80% of minor problems of your life automatically and you don't have to worry. So make sure that this is done correct. After that, there is Nishkraman that is taking the four-month-old child out from home for the first time. This should be done into a good muhurta. This is already passed for you, so you cannot do anything else for that. But for new children, so of course, you can, as an astrologer, you can choose a good muhurta to take the child out for the first time. And that will make sure that the child is perceived as uh, perceived in society in a good way. And there is not much negativity attached to the child. This is the time if you take your child out from home for the first time on a bad muhurta, it is very much possible that later on in life, this child will fall into a bad company, creating a bad name and name for himself and a gandarcha and a bad name for you, gande parents. Right. So that is something that I have to be kept in mind. Other than that, there is annaprashan feeding for the first time to the child, first feeding of the child. This once again should be done into a good muhurta. This is one of a very essential thing that you cannot ignore if this is done right. It makes sure that you don't have a health problem. And if that is not done right, then there can be health problems. Later on in life, I specifically recommend donation of food material at least once every year for everyone. Once in a year, try to make food on your own and distribute it to people, what we call Bhandara or Langar or whatever. Distribution of food to people, needy people, or anyone for that matter, is a very good thing. If you think that you have done, committed a lot of bad karmas and you need to get rid of it, making people eat your food is the best way to do that. Get rid of the bad karmas that you may have committed knowingly or unknowingly, but make sure this is very equal to Kanya Bhojan, you know. When you give food to the woman, to the children's virgin ladies, at the end of the ninth day of the Navaratri, the important aspect is that you respect and worship the child which is going to take the food. So the most important thing here is you donate food to people, you make them eat your food that you distribute or that you have made, and you respect those. If you don't respect them, have any type of disrespect to them, the whole exercise of making, uh, making or you know, uh, getting that food and then distributing it, all of that will be a waste. So make sure it is done respectfully. Other than that, chuda karma or the saving of the head for the first time, the eighth sanskar is once again very important should be done on a good muhurta. You as an astrologer sits in the duty to choose the appropriate muhurta. Right? For that, you have to use the Ashtakavarga methodology that I have already told you. For all these things which are going to happen before 
द बर्थ ऑफ द चाइल्ड गर्भाधान पुनसवन सीवंतो नयन these for these three muhurtas you will not have the horoscope of the child so you are going to use the horoscope of the father or the mother in case it is a single mother but basically it cannot be single mother so you have to use the horoscope of the father even if the father have died that does not matter right now chuda karma or saving the head this hair that that is residue after shaving this is generally given to brahma this should be done in the good muhurta other than that in day to day life when you shave your head or any hair for that matter normal shaving or you know cutting of hairs keeping in mind the appropriate time for that is very necessary maybe you have encountered or a belief in india that you should not shave your hairs on tuesdays ah uh, like that's not very good you can shave on tuesday as well that's not an issue what you have to keep in mind is navatara navatara comes important into this scenario navatara i think you already know about it but still let me give you a small intro the nakshatras are starting from the nakshatra occupied by moon at your birth time are divided into the set of nine they make janma sampad vipat chem pratyak sadak vad maitra etc etc in jagannath ra you can open a horoscope right click over it and you can go to navataras from moon into that you will find this vipattara that indicates danger pratyaktara that indicates obstacle and naidhantara that indicates death nakshatras written in front of naidhantara purvashaada bharni purva phalguni gives death to this person nakshatras written after pratyaktara jeshtha revati asresha gives obstacle to this person and nakshatra that done in front of vipattara vishaka purva badran punar vasu gives danger to this person you make sure you don't save any hair of your body on these days for the rest of your life also this ensures that you don't get into useless troubles generally whenever you skip this schedule what will happen is you will get into unnecessary fights and arguments with people that will further create things difficult and will snatch away opportunities from you so males who you know generally have a shaving every week should be very careful about it females should not do that much careful but still going to a beauty parlor and at that point of time you have to consider this right there is one more particular stuff regarding the saving of head you know whenever as a chama you know what as a asking of forgiveness to god to do that there is a procedure you go to the temple of the god most probably a tirtha most probably most generally a place which is sacred a holy place you go to a holy place tirtha pilgrimage of the god on that place of pilgrimage you stay for 3 days on that place of pilgrimage 3 nights basically that can be 4 days also you have to live in that place of pilgrimage for 3 nights every day in the morning you have to morning and evening you have to have an darshan you have to visit the idol of the god the temple of the god what is the prime god in that pilgrimage at the end of it you are supposed to shave your head and give the hair to the god females can just chip off a little bit of hair not complete shaving a little bit of hair is then cut and given to the god seeking forgiveness that because of us you have been into a trouble this is generally done in tirupati right but it is done at many other places of india as well in shiva temples it is very common to do this in vishnu temple i think it is only done in tirupati in vishnu temples in other temples this is not done but this is a way of seeking forgiveness from any god if you have committed any mistake if you think you have committed a financial mistake ever go and do it to the lakshmi temple that abolishes you of sins i think every 5 year this should be an habit of doing this every 5 years that will save you from many of the issues in life as well there is one more thing 
coconut you should take a coconut a proper coconut that have water break it into two halves keep something under that coconut the both the two halves of the coconut should be intact keep something inside that coconut it can be a jewelry if it is cash it should be into a plastic polythene so that it does not get spoiled or jaggery or sugar or anything for that matter whatever you wish to donate keep it inside that close the coconut again and then donate it to a priest or anyone you find deserving in a pilgrimage while in a pilgrimage after shaving the head or on the last day of your pilgrimage this is considered the best donation specifically when done with gold or silver coin kept inside the coconut and then donated this is one of the best remedy that can that you can do this attracts instant blessings of the god and good amount of blessings of the god that also saves you from multiple troubles in life generally people who are suffering a lot you recommend this remedy and they will come out of suffering piercing of ears known as karna ved is another ceremony that is considered very important all the women have it and right, so that's why so that's not the case with women but brahmin males kshatriya males are also supposed to have it having their ears pierced and bear something into it this generally saves you from any issues related to abdomen the piercing of ear is the reason that you will not see many women dying of heart attack this generally does not happen only few women can die of heart attack i think not many because you know all these problems that happens because of residual of waste elements in body heart attack etc that comes because of cholesterol and sugar related issues are easily averted it one if one have done the piercing of ears it is generally done for the first time to a child in a good muhurta what you can do you can choose a good muhurta for that and if you have missed it you cannot do much and of course because now you are grown up like two three times i also have thought of getting my ears pierced but i am afraid of the pain as well no, this is a good thing to be done upanayan or yagyopavit what is called janeu is also a rite is also a ceremony that should be done by everyone people think that upanayan or yagyopavit or the sacred thread that hindus have is only for brahmins but that's generally not the case in those particular cases where you think that even after repeated efforts and all the good karmas and all the hard work that you are doing you are not getting an appropriate result of that gods are not listening to you upanayan or yagyopavit is generally the best way to do that having an upanayan or having a yagyopavit also saves you from misfortunes and you know the small issues basically the raksha sutra the mauli that we put into our hands while doing a vaidik ceremony is for this particular purpose that the god will save us from any misfortune that comes our way and distracts us from the path and the same purpose is also done through yagyopavit specifically if you are doing a mantra you have decided to do a mantra for you say you are decided to do a mantra 1 lakh times so the day you start the mantra from to the day you end the mantra to for the complete time period you should be having an upanayan you should be having a sacred thread this is generally hanging from the left side of the shoulder to the right side of navel and this is a very important ceremony women don't have upanayan for this particular matter in their sarees they have this pallu that they keep on the left side of their i think left side it is kept and so this is a substitute of upanayan in the case of saree a good muhurta for that should be chosen and this upanayan is the most difficult thing in muhurta to find the time when the upanayan should be done is the most difficult thing with most staunch rules and many principles in muhurta and not every astrologer can do this but once again the rule that i have taught you this ashtaka varga one is the best of so even one astrologer have found the muhurta after 40 hours of upanayan versus your quick muhurta based on ashtaka varga believe me your quick muhurta is going to work vidyaram or the time when you start learning something reading something 
start getting initiated into a field of study is also very important that ensures how much success you have in that field of study and later on how much you can convert it into your profession so whenever you start studying anything make sure that you do it on a good muhurta samavartan is choosing a good muhurta to start reading the vaidik literature this is also a ceremony good muhurta should be chosen for that marriage is the most important sanskar most important ceremony good muhurta should be chosen for that proper match making should be done saptapadi is basically circumambulation around the fire and marriage this is a separate very important ceremony a good muhurta should be chosen for that as well and treta agni samagraha which is generally now not done but treta agni samagraha is taking fire from the fire that is burnt in the time of marriage taking that fire and preserving that fire using that fire to light your uh, kitchen fire for the first time after marriage is known as tirtha agni samagra this is generally done to ensure that the marriage never breaks and any couple who does that their marriage never breaks but the problem is now we don't do that however these three things are also very important the last major <laughs> ceremony where you must have made the change was your marriage to choose the right time and have a proper match making and if you have missed that there is antyashti or the final right which should be done on the good muhurta so that next life you get a good life right these are the major 16 things where if these major 16 ceremonies are done at right muhurta in a proper way it makes sure that the child does not face problems in their life and those people who have done all this right very rare people are there but those who have done all of these things right their life is very good at least for those for those for whom i have done it their life as a child so far is very good and in future also we have good hopes for them